My father was a stall handler there for 30 odd years. He used to bring us to the races and he used to watch them in over the rail and that he got me into it that way. So I started off as a as a stand-in stall leader and then worked my way up and then get to the team leader's job then. When I arrive at the race course, I go and meet the starter and we have a list of all the difficult horses and the races they're in and so we go through the race card and the list. I go down to the start and then I liaise on with the lads and say that your horse is going first or your horse is going last and this lad needs a rug and this horse needs a big push to get in, he's going first or whatever the case may be. All the lads have their own little role to play in it. Everybody has to know what they're doing and then they have to have like good horse knowledge and how to handle awkward horses and things like that. Come on baby. You can never learn enough. Still learning, I'm 23 years on them and still learning every day. You have to be fast, a lot of speed, in, out, quick as you can, get the horses in. And there's 32 lads on the team and uh, they're all good lads, all good at the job. And it's very important that we all click together because if, if we don't bond together or click together, the thing, the whole thing won't work and it gets very awkward and messy. Communication is very good between us all. It's just two minutes of looking out for each other. Charlie. Once you get the yellow flag in the air and they're gone out the stalls, then it's that's our job done. We can't do any more for them. Yeah. Champions Weekend now we'll have the best horses in the world going through our hands, all top class crew presses. So that's something we really look forward to.